there is another uh, definition uh, which is more important for us today uh, by a researcher who studied civic engagement in India. This is Dr. Ashutosh Varshney from uh, Brown University, uh, which is a very prestigious in university in, in America. So he studied civic engagement both in India and other places, and he uh, defines two types of engagement as such. One is associational or institutional. The other one is everyday. Under associational, uh, people become members of business associations. So when, when I say people for India, it would mean Hindus and Muslims. For America, it would mean Christians, Jews, Muslims, and Hindus and others. Uh, you know, in, in Turkey, for instance, which is my background, it would mean the majority Sunni Muslims and the Alawites and the Christians and Jews, uh, the leftists and the rightists. So uh, that is the intention. People of different backgrounds uh, become members of these associations, reading clubs, film clubs, sports clubs, NGOs, trade unions, and uh, political parties. And you can add examples uh, to these from your own background. In the everyday uh, civic engagement, he uh, mentions as examples, families from different communities visit each other. They eat together regularly, like once every month, once every week. They join, uh, they participate in the festivals of each other. Uh, they allow their children to play together. They play sports together and similar. So he gives these two categories of examples. Now, uh, Varshney makes a distinction uh, or makes an emphasis on the associational and institutional civic engagement because he says that in every society, politicians are after votes. And sometimes they see polarization as a means to get more votes. So they antagonize groups against each other. And uh, by through that, they try to get more votes. So he says that associational civic engagement makes a community more resilient against polarization by politicians. Let me repeat that because it was very important for me. Uh, you know, we cannot be naive. Uh, we should realize that there are people who benefit from polarization, antagonization. So he says that associational and institutional uh, civic engagement makes a society more resilient against polarization by politicians and, and other political leaders. <laughs>